Around 5 p.m., two Excelsior Springs police officers recognized a man at a price chopper on Kearney and Crown Hill Road. They knew he had a warrant for an assault on a law enforcement officer. The officers tried stopping the suspect, but he drove off in his truck on Kearney. The two officers were in separate vehicles, boxing the suspect in at Kearney and Crown Hill intersection where shots were fired. The, when they boxed him in, the suspect fired at the officer in the vehicle in front. And uh, at that time, the officer in the vehicle that was behind the suspect fired at the suspect. So the officer was hit in the shoulder and in the hand. Uh, the suspect was hit in the head. So the officer has non life threatening injuries, uh, in good spirits, last I heard. Um, the suspect has life threatening injuries. However, two teenage witnesses who were just thrift shopping in the area made the call to 911 after making a split second decision to help the officer shot. Take a listen. So we were stopped at the light when I heard sirens from behind us. I looked in my rearview mirror and I saw a, the cop get out and pull his gun and fire back. I couldn't see the truck or the other suspects. Uh, then somehow I blinked and the cop was in front of my car asking me to put his tourniquet on. So I put his tourniquet over his um, right arm and his hand was completely limp. All of a sudden it was just shots fired, you know, and uh, it was another second that the police officer was in the ground behind us. Uh, he moved past her car and uh, uh, ended up collapsing in front of us. The teens say it was a surreal moment, but don't consider themselves heroes. They were just happy to help. Um, I don't feel like a hero. I think I did what anyone would have done. Uh, well, I'd say the opposite. I'd say she's, she's my hero. She's the hero of the situation.